Hey guys, this is Beowulf with Beowulf's Treasure. I'm really excited. I finally got my bank to start ordering me a monthly order of coins, of boxes of coins. And I first order came in, and I have three boxes each of pennies and nickels. I'm going to be hunting these over the next couple of videos, and I look forward to sharing them with you. I think I'm going to start with this here box of nickels, because it kind of doesn't match or anything else. And uh, for some reason, I like them all looking the same. So, I'm going to start here. I will loop you in if I find anything interesting. Anything from the 40s, the 50s, buffaloes, silver, and maybe if we're really lucky, a vehicle. All right, I will loop you back in as soon as I get uh, find the first find. Okay, guys, we got our first find. Nothing too special, but it's a 1954 out of Denver. That's in roll one. Still got 49 more to go. Okay, guys, and we have another find. Look at how shiny this nickel is. I've already flipped it because it kind of caught me off guard. But it is... I put it under the scope make it nice and easy to see. It is a 1973 S proof. Let me back off so we can see a little bit better here. And it's in not that bad a shape. I mean, it's been circulated, but overall, it's a heck of a find. All right, let's go ahead and uh, add that to the board. That was in roll four, so still plenty left to go. I think we're gonna have a decent box today. Okay, guys, we got another find. This is gonna be in roll five of the box. We have a 19. Doesn't like to show them. So, but it's a 1957 out of Denver. It's pretty common, but I always like finding 40s and 50s nickels in the box. All right, back to the roll, and I'll loop you back in next time I find something. Okay, guys, same roll, and this is one of my favorite dates to find. It is a 1939. 1939s is always something for 1939. When we flip it over, if it has a mint mark, it's a key date. The both the Denver and the San Francisco's are very low mintage. Or if it's a Philly, there's a beautiful DDO, and we hopefully find that one day. But this one is a Philly. Let's check for the DDO. It's really prominent on the Monticello and five cents but I'm not seeing it. Oh well, it's still a 30s nickel, which is always a good find. I usually hold on to those anyway, just so we can have it. All right, I'll loop you in. Uh, next find I have. Okay guys, we got one more find. It's another 1954. Out of Denver. Okay guys, ninth roll in, second coin in. We have a beaver. Canadian nickel, 1984. Yep, first four into the box. Let's see what else we can find. Okay guys, same roll, roll number nine. We have our first 40s. 1948. Out of Philadelphia. Good find. Still pretty common, but coins are getting older in this box. That's always a good sign. Okay, guys, we got another find. Roll 10 of the box. This one here. Hitting the front doesn't like that. 1946 out of Philly. Well, this one's really bad because when I flipped it over, we got some some crazy stuff going on there. But still a 40s nickel. I'll take it. Second 40s of the box. Okay, guys, same room. We have another 40s nickel. 
1947. On this one, out of Denver, 1947D. Third 40s nickel, second one of that roll. Let's keep hunting. Okay, guys, this one has to be old. I wonder what year it is. No mint mark for Sub Monticello. Nineteen forty. Nineteen forty Philly, third year Jefferson. That's a good find. Still a common date, but again, forties, thirties, these were all pretty good nickels to come through when you hunt rolls. Okay guys, we're just finishing up roll twelve. And we got a pretty beat up. Nineteen fifty seven Denver. Last coin in the roll. Add that to this collection. Get started. It's time for roll 13. Let's do this. Okay, guys, roll number 13. We got a pretty nice looking 1940. This one looks like it's also out of Philadelphia. All right, definitely add that one to the stacks. We'll keep the hunt going. Okay, so we do have another find from the 50s. This is roll number 14. It's a 1958. Out of Denver. All right, guys, still on roll 14. We have another 50s find. It's a 1957. There it is. And this one, out of Denver. Okay guys, roll 19, we have another find, a 1947, out of Denver. This is probably one of the more rare ones that we found so far, it's not a, it's not a semi key or anything like that, but this one, the 19, I'm sorry, the 1947 Denver, only had about 38 million minted, just under. Um, to put that in context, 1939s that I get excited about, there's over 120 million minted of those. So, this one's a little bit more rare, but still not a key date or anything like that. I'm going to add that over here to the 1940s, and then we'll get back to the hunt. Okay, guys, next find. We're sitting in roll 19. 1952. Pretty good shape, nothing crazy. This one's out of Philadelphia. It's more for the board. Let's keep hunting. Okay, guys, I was just editing this nickel hunt video, and somehow, I guess my camera wasn't turned on when we found this buffalo nickel. Um, so I went ahead and I'm going to record this and insert it. Um, we did find it. Um, the nickel here on the left is one from my collection, the 1926. And this is the one we found. A little bit more worn. But to me, they look like they're the same coin. Um, although an argument could be made for 1928, um, just how they look comparisonly, I think it's going to wind up being a 1926. Just want to slip this in there. I do apologize for not recording it. I was talking to a camera that wasn't running. So, but I still want to insert this here because we did find it in this box, so I wanted to make sure it was in listed. All right, guys, back to the movie. Okay, guys, this is one of my least favorite coins to find. And it's not really, but... When I stumbled across the 53s in the uh, in a roll, they always looked like a 1955 to start with, which is a bit more of a key date. 53s, however, are not. But this is one we found here. It's a 1953 Denver, and this is in roll 22. All right, I'm going to add that to the 50s stack and get back to the hunt. Okay, guys, roll 25, and we have another beaver. 1989 Canadian nickel. Makes two in the box. Nothing wrong with that. I did not expect this one. But we have silver. 1943 War Nickel. This one's kind of exciting because I actually don't have 
1943 Denver in my collection. So, what do you say we find out if this one fits or not? Yep, Philadelphia. I do have one of those in my collection. I think I have quite a few of those in my collection, technically. But, it's still silver. And I can't think of anything else we can find in this box except for maybe a V-nickel. We found everything. We found a proof. We got silver. We got a buffalo. We got 40s, 50s, 30s. A v nickel's the only thing left, really. Maybe a shield nickel. I don't know. I doubt it. But, let's keep hunting. This is a great box. Guys, we found another proof. 2005 San Francisco. You gotta love a proof finish. Those things are so shiny. There's some circulation marks on it, and that's perfectly fine. Ocean view. Wow. Let's take a close up look. 2005. San Francisco minted. Two proofs in one box. They say usually when you find a proof in a box, you don't usually find silver. But once again, we proved that wrong. All right, guys, back to the hunt. I still have 22 rolls plus a piece of this one left to go. I look forward to seeing what else this box sh shows us. Okay, guys, once again, same roll. Still in roll number 28. Another 1955. Is this the lucky one? No, another Denver. Still, looking, once again, a great find for us. I do like anything from before 1960. I think it's always a good thing to find. But this one's still another Denver. Is it me? Or is this box heating up? And it's already been a good box. Let's hope so. Let's keep looking. We have a 1951. Now, once again, we're looking uh, for my collection. I do not have a 1951S. They made even less of that one than the 1955 that I'm looking for. So, this one. I suspect this is probably going to be a 1951 Philadelphia, maybe a Denver, but let's have a look. We do have a mint mark. That, that is an S. Let's double check that on the scope. Did not expect that. excited my hands are shaking no doubt that is a 1951s now one thing about me is i inherited my grandfather's coin collection and i've got some other videos where i mentioned this as well so whenever i have I, when i got his collection i took anything out of my collection and filled his collection with it so whenever I have a hole in my collection, I always look at his to see if I need it in that collection as well. So let's go ahead and get his book out. Let me zoom out just a little bit. And let's see. Is this a good find or is it a great find? Because if it's not in here, it's a great find. 1951S. All right, that's a great find. We get to add to his collection, which is one of my favorite things to do. That's awesome. All right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and add it to the board for now. But we're going to make sure that that gets put in this book before we're done. All right, guys, this book, this box just keeps getting better. But the one thing I've noticed, I haven't found a single 2009. It's kind of crazy, right? Let's keep on. Okay, coin fam, roll number 41. We have another 50s nickel, 1959. Now, 1959, Philadelphia, 
has a little bit better date. It was only 28.4 million minted. And one I need in my book. So, can we have two space fillers in one box? Let's find out. Nope, it's 1959 Denver. Well, still a 50s nickel. Let's keep hunting, see what we can find. Okay guys, next find, roll number 43. We have a 1941. Out of Philly. Man, that thing's beat up. That's okay, it's still the 1940s find. Happy to have it. The next find is a 1949 nickel. This is on roll 43. And when it comes to 1949s, I am looking for a 1949S. Why aren't you focusing? There it is. 1949S with 9.7 million minted. So, let's hope to find that one. Let's see what, see what mint we have here. No mint mark. That means it's a 1949 out of Philly. They made 60.7 million out of that of that one. So not the worst. So a little more rare than some of them, but still a pretty common find. All right, guys, I'm going to add that to the board, and then we'll keep on hunting. Another 1959 nickel. And remember, we're looking for the 1959 Philly for my collection. But this one's still a dipper. In pretty good shape, though. We might have to check that one, see if it upgrades here at the end of the, round, at the, end of the uh, video. I'll let you know at the end of the video if it upgrades. And if I find anything else in the next couple of rolls, I'll bring you back in. Okay, guys. I'm in roll 47. We got another 50s nickel. Nineteen fifty-six out of Denver. This one's also in pretty good shape. Hopefully, it'll upgrade the collection. Add it to the board. Let's keep hunting. Three and a half rolls left. Okay, guys, halfway through roll fifty, and it's giving us a parting gift. We have another thirties nickel. Nineteen thirty-nine, Philadelphia. So it's not a uh, key date. But, as always, there is a beautiful DDR to look for on the 39 Philadelphias. And, especially on Monticello and Five Cents. And this is not it. A little bit of damage on the C has it kind of doubled look slightly, but that's not it. Oh well, still a great 30s to find. Add that to the board, the next three for the box. Nothing wrong with that. See if there's any last little secrets in this last half a roll. I'll bring you back in for a wrap up if I don't find anything. Okay guys, that's it for this box. All 50 rolls hunted. We had three from the 1930s, eight from the 1940s, nine if you count the silver, 19 from the 1950s, two proofs, a buffalo, again we had the silver, I also kept out a 1968S and a 1970S, but for me, for me, the find of the box, truthfully, is the 1951S. Um, mostly because that does fill a hole in my grandfather's collection, which is always one of the things that makes me happy. Other than that, you can't say no to a silver, a buffalo, and two proofs. That's pretty good for any box. Well, guys, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I appreciate you watching, and I hope you enjoy my future videos as well. So thanks, guys, for watching. Hope your hunts are as successful as mine. Two more things. First thing, I think I owe it to y'all to show y'all the 1951S has found a home. All right, I still got to check the other 40s and 50s nickels to see if they upgrade the upgrade my other book. And I'll show you those when that happens. Okay, guys. Show you all the upgrades for their book. Um, that 1959 is definitely going to upgrade. 
We had 1955 Denver. It's a little bit better. 1954 Denver. A little bit stronger on the rim. A little bit more hair detail. It's a good shape there. We had a 1949. A little bit better details. And a little cleaner, really. Then there's a 1948. Definitely a bitch. Much, much better. Definitely upgrading there. Okay. So we had five good upgrades. Which is always a bonus. And I'm happy I have them.